my visa was refused. Binalik niya sa akin yung passport ko. It's me again, Chiselle Ivy. Welcome to my channel and yes, I'm back for another video. And for today's vlog, I'm gonna share to you my experience during my immigrant visa interview at the U.S. Embassy Manila and the reason why they, they refused my immigrant visa and the reason why did I receive a 221G letter from the consul. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. This video might help you. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell so you will be notified on my next video. So if you're ready, let's begin. We've waited this day for so long, specifically one year and two months before we got our priority date from the National Visa Center. And my interview date was February. 6 30 in the morning so dumating ako na us embassy manila at around 5 30 at daladala ko na yung lahat ng documents na kailangan so if you haven't watched yet my video about the documents needed for the cr1 visa this video might help you and um so ayun dumating na ako ng 5 30 sa us embassy manila at medyo marami ng tao nasa around 50 60s na yung tao and around 6 o'clock in the morning, they started checking all the documents needed para makapasok ka ng U.S. Embassy Manila. And ayun na, at around 6.20, dumating, puma, nakapasok na ako sa loob ng U.S. Embassy Manila. So imagine that's 20 minutes. It's maybe 6.15. I'm not really sure of the time. But um, meron ka kasing dalawang entrance na papasukan which is, iti-check nila lahat ng gamit na dala mo. Um, ako nga that time, naka-coat kasi ako that time. So, pati yung coat ko pinahubad nila and they checked all the packets. Kasi, they always, they make sure na wala ka talagang dala na pinagbabawal nila sa loob ng US Embassy Manila. So, at around 6.30, nagsimula na yung first step for the interview. So, by the way, I am um, number 3 sa CR1 visa lane. So, by 6.30 in the morning, nagsimula na yung first step for this sa interview. And that was the Filipino-Filipina consul. So, nagbigay na ng go signal yung staff na pumunta na kaming sampo doon sa harap mismo ng windows for the interview. And, so, nang nagbukas na yung mga windows, pumunta na kami isa-isa. Of course, isa-isa, hindi sabay-sabay. Isa-isa, isang window. And, um, before she asked me questions about me, about my petitioners, petitioner. And, um, she asked me first the civil documents. Ilabas ko lahat ng civil documents. Actually, she didn't ask me a photocopy of it. Ang hiningi niya lang sa akin, lahat is original. And hiningi niya rin sa akin yung IRS ng husband ko. And after that, nagsimula na siyang magtanong. Okay. So, first question na tinanong niya sa akin is, my full name. <laughs> Sinanong niya sa akin kung ano yung full name ko, kung ilang taon na ako full name ng asawa ko, ng husband ko, kung ilang taon na siya, and um, where did we met? Uh, when did we met? And how long that you been together? So, how long that you been together? And um, when was our wedding day? That's it. Yan lang yung mga tinanong niya sa akin. So, diba? Andali. Um, very easy to answer kasi itongko lang sa'yo, itongko lang sa husband mo, sa petitioner. Just make sure na, of course, the date. Sometimes we forgot the date, but you have to make sure na tama lahat ng sasabihin mo kasi... They have your marriage certificate. They have your birth certificate. So, they have all the documents na related din sa mga tinatanong nila sa'yo. 
sa kung nagkamali ka ng sagot, they might doubt you. For the second step. So, sa second step, ito na yung finger scanning. So, dito sa second step na to is American Consul na siya. Finger scanning is sa ibang window ka na naman pupunta. May pila ulit, pero hindi naman siya ganun kahaba. So, pipila ka lang ulit and then wait for your turn, of course. And, finger scanning. After the finger scanning, tapos na yung step 2. So, proceed na sa step 3, which is the last step. The last and final step for the immigrant visa interview. So, yun na yung American Consul interview. So, pumila na ulit kami. Actually, hindi. Hindi kami pumila kasi um, hindi pa nagbubukas that time yung American Consul and uh, Windows. So, nakaupo lang kami. And while waiting, uh, mga 10 minutes lang ata or yeah, 15 minutes na nakaupo kami, nag-uusap lang kami ng mga kasama ko while waiting for the American Consul's window to open. So, nung nagbigay na ng go signal yung staff na pwede na kaming pumila sa harap ng uh, windows nila, that time, hindi pa nagbubukas. Mga 5 minutes pa kaming tumayo sa window habang tinitignan, nakikita namin sila eh, pero hindi pa siya nagbubukas. Yung shadow lang nila na they are preparing bago sila nagbukas. So, nung nag-open na sila, pumunta na agad kami sa window, isa-isa kami, kaming sampo na nakatayo. So, nung andun na ako sa um, American Consul, first thing na hinahanap sa lahat ng window na, na pupuntahan mo is your DS-260 na nilagyan nila ng serial number before you enter the U.S. Embassy. So, ayun. Hinanap niya na yun sa akin, binigay ko sa kanya, and then may isang pinay na of course staff din nila na nagbigay na ng documents ko doon sa American Consul. And that was the time na nag-start na siyang magtanong sa akin. So, first na tinanong niya sa akin was my full name, followed by my age, um, my birthplace, my birthday, and um, my husband's full name. Um, how old is my husband? The state where he lives in. His complete address. And what else? How long that you've been together? How long that you've been together before you got married? When did you met? Why is... Yeah, so that's it. When did we met? And then, uh, may pinahabol siyang tanong, which is nakita niya sa birth certificate ko. Kasi yung birth certificate ko is late registered. So, tinanong niya rin sa akin kung bakit. And then, I answered why. And then, after that, um, binigyan niya na ako ng... Eto. Eto na yung binigay niya sa akin. So, I was so happy during that time. Kasi, hinintay namin siya ng sobrang tagal eh. And then, um, usually kasi nakikita ko to, kasi nanonood ako ng mga interview experience ng ibang applicants, nakikita ko to na binibigay sa kanila ng consul. So, I really thought that time that she was going to tell me, congratulations, welcome to United States of America, ganun. So, after that, nung binigay niya to sa akin, she explained kung ano to. And, nakita niya yung NBI clearance ko. Then, she asked me kung na-review ko ba yung NBI clearance ko. Kung may nakita ba akong mali sa NBI clearance ko. At sabi ko, wala. Kasi wala naman ako nakita. But then, may nakita siyang mali doon sa NBI clearance ko na hindi nag-match doon sa birth certificate ko. So, sabi niya sa akin, my visa was refused. Kailangan kong i-update yung NBI clearance ko. At binalik niya sa akin yung passport ko. Lahat ng documents na, na binigay ko sa kanya, na binigay ko doon sa Filipina Consul. So, binalik niya yung lahat sa akin, lahat ng original documents. At pati na rin yung passport ko, binig, binalik niya sa akin. At binigyan niya ako ng 
um, Tutuwanji letter. And then, she told me na, for the meantime, refused yung visa ko. Um, hindi nila ako mabibigyan ng assurance na mapapasa ko yung immigrant visa. Kasi nga, may kulang pa akong document. At kailangan ko siyang makomply within a year. Kasi pag hindi, um, babalik na ulit sa first step yung process ng ng up ng application namin ng application ko so um i don't know what to say during that time even to her i just said okay okay ma'am that's yan lang yung nasabi ko talaga kasi i don't know ko ano yung dapat yung maramdaman ko during that time and yeah umalis ako ng US Embassy US Embassy Manila na nalulungkot Kasi nga, we've waited that, that that day for so long. Tapos, hindi ko man lang narinig yung congratulations from the consul. But then, yeah, that was my experience during my immigrant visa interview. So, if you have your questions, just comment down below. And I hope that this video might help you. Um, before going to your immigrant visa interview, make sure that your papers, all the documents that you have, or lahat ng documents na uh, posibleng kailangan sa U.S. Embassy, um, the day of your interview, uh, make sure na tama lahat. Make sure na tama yung spelling, yung birth date, yung, yung lahat, lahat dapat tama, walang mali. And make sure na wala kang makakalimutan. So, that's it. That's my immigrant visa experience. I, and um, I will update you guys about my 221G process. What happened and how long. Kung gano siya katagal bago naayos ulit. So, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.